Hello out there. Today I want to talk about the Morec 40 amp uh, portable EV charger that I bought for myself. I'm going to unpack it, hook it up to the car and see how it's doing. So, unpacking. I bought this uh, Morec 40 amp portable charger because I want to be able to uh, not only use it at home but um, on campgrounds and uh, other outlets as well so I want to have the flexibility uh, to use it in other places as well that's why I bought the portable charger and not a fixed uh, wall mounted unit okay let's unpack uh, this charger and see what's in the box so here's the box uh, this uh, I'm not sure yeah, it shows uh, European type 2 option and American option as well j1772 <clears throat> it shows different plugs here um, so it's I guess this is just a generic uh, box okay let's see we got a user guide here Just a few basics in there, I guess. Um, key features, good to know. LEDs, all these kind of things. Okay, so this um, should be the 40 amp version. And that's pretty much it we got some things on the back here as well okay so let's see okay we got the plug here yep definitely okay that's good Here we got the end for the car, the J1772. Okay, that looks nice. Got a rubber protecting thingy on here. That's cool. Okay, and uh, the um, J1772 adapter or plug looks good. Okay, and then here we got the control box. little protective thingy on here cool looks good let's see what we have here model P BSPCD 040 input 100 to 250 volts AC 50 and 60 Hertz um, operating temperature 25 minus 25 Celsius to plus plus 55 Celsius IP66 rated uh, and then rated current uh, it says 16 32 and 40 amp 40 amp is marked here so that's the 40 amp version so looks good and then here it explains the LEDs um, disconnected 
mode, connected mode with a green LED, flashing LED is charging, and fault is red. Okay. And um, that is pretty much that's all in the box there. Uh, nothing too crazy going on. Uh, we'll see how it works on the car. After unpacking it, I plugged it into my NEMA 1450 outlet, uh, which obviously is rated for 50 amps, um, and into my Ionic 5, and it immediately ramped up and pulled 44.4 amps. That is too much. Um, you're only supposed to have a continuous uh, rate of 80% of the um, rated uh, breaker uh, and wiring. So that would be 40 amps. And uh, that's exactly um, what the problem is because after 10 minutes, the charger shuts down the charge. Um, this is the error message that comes up. And uh, so it's triggered the overcurrent protection, which I guess is the right thing to do. And uh, so it just stops the charge. Uh, that's all fine and good. It would have pulled 9.5 kilowatt, um, uh, but that only works uh, for a short amount of time. So uh, if that is all you can do, um, then this uh, is a problem. However, uh, in most electric cars and as well in my Ionic 5, you can limit the charging speed. So going into the EV menus, you can reduce the setting from maximum to reduced and the car charges slower. So I, just, I adjusted the setting and now uh, you can see that the car is only pulling uh, 40 amps, which is what the circuit for continuous load and the charger is rated for. 40 amps uh, equals at 240 volts about 8.5 kilowatts so that's what the car is pulling and it shows a charging time from 53 to 80 percent in about uh, two and three quarters hours. So that's perfect, um, that's totally fine, works for me no problem. Uh, so but if you do not have this ability to limit the charge in the car there is no way uh, and your car is able to pull more than uh, 40 amps I would have to add that um, the Ionic is able to pull 48 amps um, then this charger would not work if there is no ability to limit the charge I'm not quite sure why uh, that's the problem there must be some communication problem between the charger and the car either one is not either reporting the right thing or reacting to whatever the other thing is saying uh, so apparently something's not working hundred percent I'm not sure if that's on the car or on the charger side uh, it's hard to tell without having any other product uh, to compare to which I do not have so um, just to uh, check the whole thing I also reduced the charging rate to minimum right here in the EV settings um, and then the car ramps down to 5.7 kilowatts right there uh, which equals about 28.3 amps so um, with those settings you can use the Ionic 5 with this chargers on a um, 50 amp circuit or on a, a 40 amp circuit because you can still limit it to about 30 amps so that's still 80% um, continuous load if you have a, only a 40 amp circuit so uh, that's that works as well so um, other than this little problem with maximum charge uh, it seems to be a really good charger I only had it for a couple hours uh, and wanted to kind of uh, fill you guys in on uh, how it works. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope uh, you enjoyed this video and maybe it helped uh, you guys. Um, please click like and subscribe down there. And then I will see you next time. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.
Bye.